For me, uh, just what we're talking about, about being authentic. Very early on, I was aware that the concept that was being formulated in my mind's eye had a way that it wanted to be expressed. And it would tell me, I want to be three-dimensional. I want to be a painting. I want to be a photograph. I would know very clearly how to express it. And I'm also very grateful for that. I didn't ask for that. And I'm glad that you asked that question because I think some, some art critics or historians, they missed that, that very powerful part of my work. They, they, um, I think that's very, a very, a very intrinsic part of, of, my, of my practice is allowing for what I want to say to be expressed in its most natural way. It's, a, it's, it's really, it's been fascinating because sometimes you have been mediums that were not out there. Uh, when I first show a Robert Miller in New York, I was printing in vinyl. Uh, I wanted these images to have the force of a movie screen. Uh, when you go to the movies, these, these images that feel bigger than life, the force of life that is so, makes you sometimes like so nervous. And the only way I could express that was with a giant piece of fabric and I remember seeing a billboard and thinking, oh my God, if they can print that size, this is, this is how this concept wants to be manifested. And I printed in that large, that's as large as these walls. I get to print that big because a friend of mine printer had a NASA scanner that no one else could use to enlarge like that because I mean I, I my work couldn't be pixelated like a billboard that you can read from afar I knew it so I had to do all this research like you and I had access to this I will take the negative on my mamilla there was no digital camera back then and I will have to expand that to the size 13 by 20 feet you know uh, you know, artists embrace new technology all the time. I, and, and the new, there we go, is part of what we do, we explore.